Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, today we're going to be reacting with Jessica. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to Kali Diasson talking about Muslim terrorists. Guys, like, this is actually one of the narratives that I really want to hear this. About Muslim. Well, let's get straight into this. Many of you have heard or you've been told that Muslims are terrorists. Muslims are fanatics. Muslims are heretics. Muslims are extremists. Muslims are murderers. Muslims are hostage takers. This is what you've been told. And I'll tell you that in some cases, that is true. There have been certainly some Muslims not just recently, but even before newspapers and the media came about, there have been some Muslims who were the meaner element of the Muslims who have done those kinds of things, so, sure, certainly. But then let's be objective. Let us go to history and be objective. Have not Jews and Christians also done those things? And are they not also doing those things? Yes, they are. A criminal is a criminal. A sinner is a sinner. But you would never see in the media a Christian pedophile. You would never see a pedophile called a Christian pedophile. You will never see a murderer called a Christian murderer or a Jewish murderer. Timothy McVeigh wasn't called a Christian terrorist. Charles Manson wasn't called a Christian mass murderer. The IRA is not referred to as a Christian terrorist organization. Yet they are in fact committing and they have committed some of the gravest repugnant crimes, but they're not referred to as Christian terrorists, Christian fanatics. Then I ask, why? Why when a Muslim is accused, maybe not even indicted, maybe not even convicted, but if a Muslim is simply accused of something, he is called a Islamic fundamentalist, Islamic fanatic. Islamic Muslim terrorists. Why? Because the media is controlled by people who want to malign Muslims and Islam. And I say that's unfair. While yes, that is true, that some Muslims themselves are responsible for some of the distortions about Islam. Some of the distortions about Islam, some of the misconceptions about Islam is as a result of the misbehavior of some Muslims, and that is to be fair and objective. But I think if you examine history and you ask yourself the question, who perpetuated the international slave trade that resulted in 80 million people being traded like hogs, and dogs. Over a 400 year period of time, this wasn't Muslims, but they weren't called Christian fanatics, although certainly those were, that was Portugal, Spain, America, Great Britain, France, all Christian countries, and collaborated with the Catholic Church. When the conquistadors went into South America and ravaged that country, killed and slaughtered the people, poisoned the natural resources, they were blessed by the church. And they're still blessed by the church. And nobody called them Christian terrorists. When the first settlers came to this country, there were people living here, in case you don't know that. 
Nobody discovered a country where people were already living. I can't come to your house and just set up home in your house and say I discovered it and put you out. There were people living here who are now called Aborigines, a very nice word, Aborigines. It's like the native Indians in America, they're called the native Indians. They're not called Americans, they're called native Indians. This is because Christopher Columbus, he sailed looking for India. <laughs> and he wound up in what is now called the Americas, but the audacity and the chauvinism. See how chauvinistic the people are. Even though they knew it wasn't India, still, how chauvinistic they are, they still call the people Indians. And today, they call them natural, they call them native Indians, but they call themselves Americans. And today, you call the native people here Aborigines and you call yourself Australians. Now how this country was taken, you were not invited here, but it was taken with blood and slaughter. Terrorism in its purest form, but nobody called those people Christian terrorists. And now that you have sophisticated civilization here, Sydney, Australia, Brisbane, Australia, Melbourne, Australia, I mean, you know, down under you got this, you had the Olympics here, it's all forgotten about now. And still terrorism by governments still go on. And I don't say that terrorism by governments or individuals is right or moral, it is not. It is not. But we can't on one hand call some people in Afghanistan or some people in Chechnya or some people in Kashmir or some people in Palestine or some people in Somalia or some people in some other part of Africa or some other people in Indonesia. You can't call them terrorists because they are seeking freedom from oppression when you justify in your own history that you did the same thing, but you glorify it and you justify it now. It's not fair. I say that a crime is a crime, whether it's done by some uneducated, unsophisticated people or some very educated and sophisticated people. A crime of government is just as bad as a crime of the individual. Yet the crimes of governments they go unchecked because governments have power and there's nobody that can check them. But individuals, governments can hunt them down and put them in check. So I say that this issue that Islam or Muslims being fanatics, that this is unfair. Islam is a system of faith. Guys, I have a lot to say. First of all, I believe that some like I've reacted to a video what I said that uh, I think Saki Naga said it. He was like, you cannot compare tiny proportion of Muslims that are actually committing this crime to you cannot use that tiny proportion to like evaluate the like to draw a conclusion of the whole society. I feel people who commit these crimes are less than one percent or less than one percent of Muslim. But that being said, it does not mean that I love the fact that he still accepted the fact that oh, some Muslims are out there committing this crime. And still of recent, I can say because I've seen some videos and I won't say, I think this is the problem. I really can't say they are Muslim because I would say they are Muslim but they are not practicing the same thing. Because most times they speak Arabic too. And they still say the Alam the lie and those kind of, they still say those kind of Islamic words like that's why some people are just ha finding hard to like believe that Muslims are this and Muslims are that. But if you understand the religion, you understand that those people are not actually Muslims. They identify as Muslims, but they don't practice the religion. Mm -hmm. They are just but if that, they do, they won't be doing. What yes, they're doing. that's why I still say some Christians that actually say they are gay. I won't say they are Christians. I feel they identify as Christians, so. That doesn't mean... Yes, they are. Like, there are some things 
if you know the book says don't do and some people are doing it, you just supposed to come to conclusion that they identify as this and they're not that. Because some people are actually killing different people, people helpless people, people that often offended them. Because there's a video I watched of prison. Like the man cut off another son's like another man's hand and the guy had to hold his hand in his like it was scary and very very I, I felt like crying like the guy was just standing there all confused like they used cut last to cut his hand and it was you can imagine you holding your hand uh-uh. god like uh-uh. guys that was scary and I, I can say i wouldn't call that person a muslim to be honest i would say he is someone who identifies as muslim because most of them actually Maybe if they're feeling themselves, if they're feeling themselves doing those kind of atrocities, they actually see some Islamic words, and that's why people actually just classify them yeah, as Muslim. Muslims. Well, what do you think about that? Well, I personally, I feel like most times when because when like terrorists attack some people, you know, they are always there's a set of people that are always quick to judge and say, "Oh, they are Muslims." Yeah. I feel like they do that because you see, when you talk about Islam. They are like people with great respect. People with I don't know. People look at them like oh, these people are really humble, really. I I feel why people say that because Islam are willing. I will say this without. I will say this the way that I feel they are willing to like die or kill for a religion. Oh. Like that is a fact that I feel no one can dispute or deny. They are willing to die and kill for a religion. So like. When they see them speaking those kind of things, they feel like maybe this is part of their book. But is it? It isn't. Does it? So he, you have to get a level to you have to get to a level of understanding for you to know that this isn't what this person can do because it isn't what they practice. It isn't what like it isn't what was written. This is not what Prophet Muhammad did. And Prophet Muhammad is an idol and they actually try their best to like practice is a role model so they try their best to live to so work in his ways yes so guys tell us what you think about this video i know a lot of said but correct me if i'm wrong guys i'll see you in the next video